Hello and welcome to the Superhero Hub. I'm Sam. I'm Matt. And today we're reviewing Arrow. Yeah. Uh, this episode being called Tribute. Your thoughts? My thoughts. What a load of crap. What a load of absolute crap. The episode itself wasn't terrible, but it's just like the implications of the season. Not like, really. It was bad enough. We pulled that crap at the end of the last episode with the. The whole fake reveal thing, which of course gets wrapped up straight away. Now they double down on the stupid at the end of this bloody episode. I mean, oh, good uh, God. I know something that maybe a lot of people were gassed about, but we're going to set them straight right yeah. now. We're going to set them straight right now. The Bruce Wayne and Gotham Easter egg. Um, yeah, a that's lot, what it is, an Easter egg. Who cares? A lot of people were probably super gassed. But the reality of the situation is, with all due respect and kindness, Bruce Wayne's never going to appear in the Arrowverse. Mm-hmm. They're never going to go to Gotham. You know what I mean? So, uh, uh, the, for me, when I first heard it, I was like, oh, cool. But then I realised, well, that's about the extent of it. It's not like Bruce Wayne's going to pop up next episode. Never. So it's the anno- whole reason so if anything, the show it's exists. The whole reason this is because they don't want to do a Batman show, so they did one with the Green Arrow instead. Yeah, and stole all those villains. Yeah, and stole all the ideas from Batman being a bloody an idea that can carry on. Hence the reason we get the crap at the end of this episode. Well, they're in a bit of a thing anyway. So basically. Oh. Oliver comes and sets the record straight, and then I guess he's going around doing stuff, and some Markovians have come in. I'm pretty sure that's an Easter egg as well, because they keep referencing Markovia in Arrow. They've done it a couple times, so I'm trying to think what comes out of there, but I can't quite put my finger on it. So yeah, he's bringing some Markovians around, chaperoning as mayor, because they're going to open some high-tech facility, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, oh, I wish you were uh, a superhero because then uh, I'd double my investment, at which point a bunch of people turn up and start uh, shooting off their blammers, uh, to which the Markovians are kidnapped uh, by Anatoly, who's popped up again and who's fallen on hard times. Yeah. <laughs> I don't hate the Anatoly character, but, I mean, what's the point? I tell you, well, what he should have done is he should have took Anatoly under his wing and was like, look, this Bratford stuff ain't working out. Um, you know what I mean? Maybe maybe do something else. Maybe be like a mercenary or something instead of lead like a mercenary squad instead of gangsters. That's where the money's at, right? I suppose, but see why wouldn't why wouldn't Oliver just employ him to like go around and like keep like rough up petty criminals and other gangs and stuff like that? Because uh, Oliver mind over where he draws the line. It's gotten to a point where even I'm. What does he consider too far now? He doesn't kill, but he will. Would he work with Anatoly, knowing he's a criminal? He's done it in the past, but would he do it now? I have no idea. I tell you what's cool when Mr. Terrific's doing his flex and is dashing his T-spheres. Yeah, that's right. I like that. I think that's real cool. Uh, yeah, if I was on the team, that's what I'd want, an impl- want to implement. So anyway... I, I, I think they've worked out a way to make him work as far as the team, keeping him at a sort of distance, using him as... A, a kind of sniper or set spheres instead in close quarters it didn't really work but yeah I think that's an improvement mm. well one thing that didn't sit pretty with me was uh, the whole that he's got like another job on the DL doing software coding and then Felicity went straight into a shtickoma and kept bringing it up every five minutes it's yeah. like okay we get it you don't have to say it 50 times Oh, what's the problem with him having another job? I don't get it. I don't know. What's, what's the issue? It, she was in wonderment. 
She was astonished. It's like Christ's sake, Oliver's a freaking mayor. Yeah. He's a mayor. See, that's exactly what she sounded like. That was a great impression. Thank you. <laughs> right, so, yeah, and apparently him and his husband are divorced, and he, like, gave his husband everything, so he rolled over like a bitch. Uh, so, <laughs> so, yeah, the and you got the whole... Um, the problem is it's easier to maybe think, oh... John Diggle wants to pork the Black Canary because you never see his wife. So mm. you think, oh, it could happen. Then you're like, oh, yeah, he has got a wife, though. But you forget because you, you only see it. Like the last time I saw her, I can't remember the last time I... I think, geez, the last time I saw Lila must have been... It might have been The Flash. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying in Arrow, I was going to... I was gonna. You've ruined it now. I was going to mug that off. Was like oh. I remember I messing about with Damien Dark. I don't. And then uh, obviously the only other time is when she was on a different show, which you ruined. You ruined my gag there. Oh, bad. Yeah. So you got him with the black canary and his melting all over the place. And um, yeah, it turns out when when the explosions went off on the island, he caught uh, a hot lick. Uh, to the shoulder and apparently as a result of that he's got degenerative muscle disease so it's just going to get worse and why didn't he just shoot with his other hand um, that's what I was thinking but maybe I'm reading the situation wrong and then you got Oliver's kid whining blah 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 bottom line they wrap all of it up and save the gangster uh, the, the Markovian guy what happened to Vanatoli, I forget. He was talking about how he wouldn't have like kid he he made a veiled threat about the kid but then said he'd never do it because he's an honourable man or yeah. something and then said something else and but basically he just walked off. Yeah. He was like Oliver was like, Yo, you ain't honourable and he was like, Look, if I weren't honourable, mate, I'd have planted a bomb in your kid's school. So basically blah blah blah, he chooses Willie over uh being the green arrow. So oh, So then me. So then John's about to be like, Oh yeah, my my arm's gonna fall off and Oliver was like, Yo, I need you to be the green arrow instead of me and John's just like, Okay then Right. Obviously, that's going to be an issue because Diggle can't do something for whatever reason. Who cares? Pretty sure it's whack with a bow anyway. Probably. But my God, how are we back at this again? We already complained last week about how they've already done the whole Oliver Queen's The Green Arrow and then throwing people off the trail. They've done that again. Now we're back at this crap. Seems... Wasn't this the end of like last season, the season before that, where he drove off with Felicity all smiles and I'm not going to be the bloody Green Arrow anymore and now he's doing it again? See, now I'm worried the kid's going to get done in. For Christ's sake. I'm worried the kid's going to get done in. Oh, so they've we... done that before. They've done that before, though. They did that with that Japanese kid. Oh, yeah. I forget his name. Cares, Masao's kid. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I can't remember his name. So yeah, um, so either Oliver's gonna, uh, John's gonna have to come clean, or whatever, because there isn't really a replacement. Because you need someone who's good with a bow and arrow. Right, and the Roy Harper's doing, and why are we doing it anyway? We've we've just we've just had Barry run back and take back his spot as a Flash. Now we're gonna. Oliver give up the green arrow thing to someone else. No, why are we doing this? Yeah. I don't. Part of my frustration is I think the show's in a better state than it has been in a long time. I like most of the supporting cast. I think they all fit their roles pretty well. I think they found a place for me. Saying uh, the the thing at the office, the mayor's face, that works all right. Gives a spot for Quinton. The war dog guy fits in well. The, the new black war dog. Whatever we call him. Who? Who cares? That Wild guy. Dog. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wild Dog's a better name. Obvious. He's all right. He's all right. And the Blue Black Canary, I don't know much about her, but I don't hate her, so that's an improvement. Everything's okay up from a character standpoint, but plot-wise, why are we redoing... Why are we redoing what? Why are we redoing crap we've already done? What's the point? 
If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, it was broke. It was broke <laughs> for two years. It was awful. And then they fixed it. And now they've fucked it up again. Let's talk numbers. You know, seven. I didn't think it was episode. It was fine. The issue is, where are they going? Do you know what I think is going to happen? I oh. think, like, I, I, because the villains like Richard Dragon or Ricardo Diaz, whatever you want to, you know, label him as, maybe Oliver Oliver can still get his Green Arrow fix by dealing with organised crime from the mayor's office. I don't want to watch that. <laughs> well, the producers think you do. The producers think that's exactly what you want to see, and so do the writers. Um... <sighs> Yeah, I'll give this episode nine, nine and a half. You're winding me up, right? <laughs> now, nah, maybe seven and a half because of the Easter egg. But if I think about the Easter egg too much, I'll get wound up because it's never going to happen. You know, it, they should just reference everything. And then they'll be like, look, look, we can say that stuff, but it's never going to happen. It's like, yo, pretend to be my girlfriend and like, but but I won't kiss you. It's like that kind of situation, you know what I mean? I mean what, what's the so, point anyway? I mean, if you, Superman, now, reference Green Lantern again, just reference them all and then just, you know what I mean, just never bring them on the show. Just yeah, but then with, with Superman, then you make a rod for your own back because Supergirl is meant to be in another world. So is this Superman the same as the guy we're seeing fly around? The, oh, I don't know. Right, this, what's, Earth's, what's, this Earth's Superman's Tom Welling. Fine, whatever. What? Do it. Bring back the other guys, Lex Luthor, and get rid of that stupid Supergirl show. God help me. I'm Sam. I'm losing the will to live. I'm Matt. And we'll see if a net more arrow. <laughs> arrow without arrow. What a great idea.